Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called hydromorphone, commonly known by its brand names Dilaudid and Exalgo. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Hydromorphone, known by its brand names Dilaudid and Exalgo, is an opioid analgesic used to relieve moderate to severe pain. It acts on the central nervous system, CNS, to alleviate pain. This medication is typically prescribed when other pain treatments have not been effective or cannot be tolerated. It is available in various forms, including oral tablets, extended-release tablets, and injections. Hydromorphone works by binding to opioid receptors in the brain and spinal cord, altering the perception and response to pain. Warnings Hydromorphone comes with significant warnings due to its potency and potential for abuse. It is a Schedule II controlled substance, meaning it has a high potential for abuse, which can lead to severe psychological or physical dependence. It should only be used under strict medical supervision. Misuse of hydromorphone can result in addiction, overdose, or death, particularly in children or other individuals using the medication improperly. It's not recommended for individuals with severe asthma breathing problems, or a blockage in the stomach or intestines. Hydromorphone should also be avoided by those who have recently used alcohol, sedatives, tranquilizers, or other narcotic medications. Combining hydromorphone with other CNS depressants can result in severe drowsiness, respiratory depression, coma, or death. Before taking this medicine. Before starting hydromorphone, it is crucial to discuss your medical history with your healthcare provider. Inform them if you have any history of head injury, brain tumors, mental illness, breathing disorders, sleep apnea, liver or kidney disease, urinary retention, or problems with your gallbladder, pancreas, or thyroid. You should not take hydromorphone if you have an allergy to it or any other opioids. Pregnant women should use this medication with caution, as it can cause withdrawal symptoms in the newborn. Breastfeeding is not recommended while using hydromorphone, as it can pass into breast milk and may harm the nursing baby. Side Effects As with any medication, hydromorphone has potential side effects. Common side effects include drowsiness, dizziness, headache, constipation, nausea, vomiting, sweating, and dry mouth. These effects should be reported to your doctor if they persist or worsen. Serious side effects include slow or shallow breathing, severe drowsiness or difficulty waking up, fainting, seizures, and signs of an allergic reaction such as rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, and trouble breathing. Additionally, long-term use can result in hormonal changes, such as decreased libido, impotence, or missed menstrual periods. Another serious risk is the development of serotonin syndrome, a potentially life-threatening condition, if hydromorphone is used in combination with other drugs that affect serotonin levels. Symptoms include agitation, hallucinations, fever, sweating, shivering, fast heart rate, muscle stiffness, and loss of coordination. Interactions Hydromorphone can interact with many other medications, which can affect how it works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you are taking. This includes MAO inhibitors, other opioids, certain antidepressants, muscle relaxants, sedatives, antihistamines, anti-anxiety drugs, and medications for mental health conditions. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness and safety of hydromorphone. Always adhere to your doctor's recommendations. The dosage will depend on your medical condition, pain severity, and response to treatment. Typically, for pain relief, the initial dose for adults using the immediate release form is 2 to 4 mg every 4 to 6 hours as needed. For the extended release form, the starting dose is usually 8 mg once daily. It's crucial to take this medication exactly as prescribed to prevent overdose and severe side effects. Avoid While on hydromorphone, avoid alcohol and other CNS depressants as they can exacerbate side effects and increase the risk of severe complications. Avoid driving or operating heavy machinery until you know how this medication affects you, as it can impair your reactions and judgment. FAQ Many wonder about the age restrictions for hydromorphone. It is generally not recommended for use in children due to the risk of severe side effects and the potential for misuse. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing 
that wraps up our overview of hydromorphone. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.